Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope everyone is uh, already having a fantastic day. Uh, today we are in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 3, uh, verse 5 and 6. And uh, if you've been around church for very long, you've you've heard um, this uh, these verses before. Uh, and uh, so let's just dive right in. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Other verses say he will direct your paths, but I love the idea of he will make your paths straight. So trust in the Lord in everything you do. Don't lean on your own understanding. But in everything you do, acknowledge him, and he's going to direct your paths. He's going to make your paths straight. This is something that I'm, I think we're always learning. I'm still learning it. And uh, something that the Lord has just been showing me a lot here lately, that I just need to trust him uh, to get to his will. So, so there are really two wills of God. There is the, the will of God, which will be done. His will will be be done. He is going to have his way, right? His ultimate will. And then there's also his will for your life, which he often allows us to make decisions about. And you can miss, you can miss God's will for your life by making the wrong decisions. But that will not change his ultimate plan. It will not mess up his ultimate will. And if his will, ultimate will includes you you can't mess that up either but you may miss the blessing of it by by not uh enjoying the fruits of uh, his labor in your life so uh let's talk about this idea of making your path straight you know we learn in geometry that uh, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line and the Bible here says that if we will uh, lean not on our own understanding, not just trust what we think we know, trust what we, what he uh, trust that he knows what he knows, uh, that he will make our paths straight, a straight line. So the distance between where you are and God's will, the shortest distance is his straight line, right? And so he's going to get you there, the shortest distance. And you know sometimes you know what amazes me is I know Christians, I know believers. They believe in God, but they question him because, well, what about this and what about that? And as if they know more than the creator of the universe. Let's just take this down to like your children. Your children, your five, six, seven, eight-year-old kids, they don't understand life at the level you understand it. And so they're, they're in danger because they make bad decisions not knowing that the world is a dangerous place. But we think often that we know what God knows. We know what God knows and, uh, or that we know better than God. And so we will make our own decisions and we'll lean on our own understanding. And our understanding is so finite. We cannot comprehend everything that is going on uh, in the world and in life and in the future in regards to the past. But God sees it all. And so, but, so we don't need to lean on our own understanding. We just need to trust in him. And he's going to give us that shortest distance. You know, I think about Jonah. Jonah, uh, God's will was for Jonah to be in Nineveh, preaching to the Ninevites. Well, Jonah didn't want to go. And so Jonah ran. And so the straight line was straight to Nineveh. But Jonah got off course. And so by getting off course, now he's no longer getting the the quickest way to God's will right so the quickest way back to God's will was not by horse it was not running it was not by donkey it was not even by boat the quickest way back to God's will was by fish right so Jonah was swallowed by the fish and taken to Nineveh because the uh because God will have his way and the shortest distance is is God's will, right? And so uh, Paul, the Apostle Paul, the shortest distance between being a killer of Christians to being uh, a, a Christian and uh, the Apostle and, and, and a disciple of Jesus, the shortest distance, the quickest way for Paul to see God's will 
was blindness. So God blinded Paul on the road to Damascus so he could finally see. That was the shortest distance. That was the straight line for Paul. It doesn't have to be a fish. It doesn't have to be blindness. It can just be Paul reaching out to Matthew, a tax collector, and say, follow me. And Matthew says, well, I've got all this money. I've got all this. I've got this business. I have all these people counting on me, but uh, I, have, I have Rome counting on me. Okay. The shortest distance for Matthew was obedience. And so trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't trust your own understanding because we don't understand everything. And everything, acknowledge him, and he's going to give you the shortest distance between the two points. As soon as you start looking for a shortcut, you are now off course. And it's no longer, it's not going to be as quick as it could be to God's will. So if we want to know God's will for our lives, obviously we want that shortest distance. We want to let him show me, Lord, show me my path, show me my steps so that I can walk in your paths, that quick, awesome highway to your will. And, uh, and uh, Lord, show me the, your will for my life. Help me to see the steps I need to take and the uh, people I, I need to bring with me. Uh, because uh, often it's not just uh, God's not just doing it for you alone, just like Jonah. It was for everybody, right? It was for all, all of Nineveh. And uh, for Paul, it was everybody uh, in Ephesus and Rome and Philippi and everywhere that Paul was able to go. And for us. So, uh, uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's not lean on our understanding. Let's acknowledge him. And he's going to make the path straight. Everybody have a great day.